Of consuming the fish, you mentioned the rancid oils. I think in the book you also mentioned the uh, mercury toxicity. That yeah, well, that a second finding... problem, yeah, a second problem. The rare rare time that you find legitimate studies that were not conducted by the fish industry or by some supplement or pharmaceutical industry, uh, you're going to see, as I point out in the book, studies out of New Zealand, the very natural country that you know refuses to use uh, nuclear energy there and uh, one that basically has very good green laws, probably the greenest country that I can think of out of uh, major uh, countries on the planet. And they've done studies and report about the shockingly high amount of mercury and other, uh, canium and other uh, heavy metals that you find in fish. Uh, one of the best portrayals you've seen of that is National Geographic a few years ago uh, wrote an article with a brilliant young journalist and sent him in after testing him initially for mercury levels and finding he did have a little bit, but he didn't have what the average American or European would have in their bloodstream. And sent him in to the finest, as they pointed out, finest, quote, fish restaurant in San Francisco, known for its fish restaurants, and he ate, quote, a free range, you know, from way up in the far north where everything's pristine and God sings and all of that, and had one salmon meal, free range salmon meal, and came out with three times higher mercury after one fish consumption than the government permits. Now, how much should the government permit, permit none? Because how much mercury do you need in your, your body? None. And so he walked out after one meal having three times more. And that's more user-friendly to the average listener out there today. So look that National Geographic up on mercury poisoning and fish consumption, and you'll be shocked at that. But uh, sure, they're riddled with you know heavy metals, chemicals. I mean, we're fats. Uh, where fats are, chemicals are. That's why humans who are obese and overweight uh, die from more diseases like cancer and other diseases than anyone else because fat holds and contains chemicals and heavy metals, etc. Well, fish fat is where you have all of those things, and we used our environment as a cesspool for the last 150 to 200 years. So uh, we, what should we expect? Mm -hmm. 